Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Target 100 in Mathematics by Shivesh Kumar Singh and today we are going to talk about question number 4 for term 3 examination for grade 6. Okay, let's start the video. This question will deal with volume of a rectangular prism. Okay, and what other names I have told you, sometimes it is also called cuboid or if all sides are equal then it is also called cube okay but so far you just remember this word rectangular prism okay now what is the uh, what is the question here you see zayat's younger brother has a toy box that is shaped like a rectangular prism with the dimension shown what is the meaning of dimension dimension means sides okay what is the volume of the toy box so what will be the volume of a rectangular prism it is length multiply width multiply height okay so any one side you can take length another side you can take width and another side you can take height so just put the values here value of length is 4 multiply w means 2 and a half height means 1 and a half so this is equal to 4 multiply it is a mixed fraction so uh, write it into improper fraction it will be 2 multiply 2 4 4 plus 1 5 divided by 2 multiply 1 times 2 2 2 plus 1 3 divided by 2 now 2 multiply 2 4 4 is up cancel so 5 times 3 15 fit cube because y power 3 here because we are dealing with volume and we are multiplying a dimension 3 times so fit power 3 or it can be written like this also cubic feet okay both are same now next question can be khalifa made a jewelry box in the shape of a rectangular prism with the dimensions shown what is the volume of the box so same type of question v is equal to l w h students somewhere it is written l b h also so it doesn't make a difference okay we are not concerned with the letters whatever you want you can write so this is l i am taking this is w and this is h so this is equal to value of l is six and a half value of width is four value of height is three and a half so again some numbers are in the mixed form mixed fraction so write it in proper fraction six multiply two 12 12 plus one 13 divided by two multiply four multiply four three divided by two six say, sorry three multiply by two six six plus one seven divided by two again 2 multiply 2, 4 and 4 is up, cancel. 13 times 7 is 91 inch cube, okay? Now, next question can be, a rectangular prism has a length of 8 inches. See, this is the value of L. Width of 7 and a half, this is W. And height is 6 and a 1 over 4, that is H. Find the volume. So, volume is equal to L, W, H means 8 multiply 7 and a half multiply 6 and a 1 over 4 so this is 8 multiply 7 multiply 2 is 14 14 plus 1 15 divided by 2 multiply 6 multiply 4 24 24 plus 1 25 divided by 4 now 4 multiply 2 8 8 is up also cancelled see here luckily i am getting the numbers by which i am cancelling it properly but if you don't can if you cannot cancel then definitely you will multiply the numerators and then you will divide by the denominators in that case calculation will be little lengthy okay now 15 multiply by 25 like it will be 15 times 5 75 7 carry forward 15 times 2 30 and 7 37 inch cube or cubic inches okay now next question can be the rectangular prism shown as has a volume of 52 cubic meter what is the width now you see here width is missing okay so volume is l w h volume value is given 52 l is given 6.5 w we don't know h is 2 now what we can do w is equal to 52 divided by 6.5 multiply by 2 now 52 divided by 2 is 26 now 26 divided by 6.5 
here you will have to be little careful how because numerator we don't have decimal and denominator we have decimal so just cancel this decimal from here and put one zero there why one zero because after decimal point we had only one place so just cancel it okay now 260 divided by 65 we can divide it yes see you can simplify this by uh, writing it in simplest form also or if you don't want to waste your time you just divide it okay see 26 is a smaller number 65 is a bigger number so what you will do how many times it will be divided four times four fives are 20 four six are 24 and uh, two 26 cancel so this is equal to four meter okay like this you can get the answer now Next question can be, the rectangular prism shown has a volume of 115 cubic yards. What is the length of the prism? Now, you see, again, volume is given, length is missing. So, same type of question. Volume, I'm sorry, volume is equal to length, width and height. So, it is 115 is the volume, it is given here. Equal to length is missing. W is 5 and a 3 over 4. This is W I have taken or you can say this is height or this is w it's okay no problem in that because we are dealing with the multiplication so this is two and a half so this will be 115 is equal to l times five times four 20 20 plus 3 23 over four times two times two four four plus one five over two okay now it is whatever it is written here down it will go to numerator because i don't want to waste your time in this multiplication okay just i will cross multiply so that it can be simplified easily so this will be 115 multiply by 4 multiply by 2 upon 23 multiply by 5 my dear students understand this step once again see on this side 4 and 2 were written down in denominator so when they will go to another side it will be in the numerator okay and 23 and 5 they were in numerator so on another side they will become in denominator now we can simplify it easily how 5 will divide 115 it will be 5 2s are 10 5 3s are 15 23 up and 23 down cancel and 4 times 2 8 yard see how easily we can calculate this otherwise if you will multiply here then you will waste your time no it you can do it no problem okay now next is khalid drives a standard sized dump truck with a rectangular prism we are concerned with the shape of the object okay shaped bed the volume of the bed of the truck is 720 cubic feet see volume is given here if the length this is the value of l and the width this is the value of w find the height height is missing so volume is equal to l w h means 720 is equal to 15 multiply 8 multiply h so h is equal to 720 divided by 15 into a, into 8 so this will cancel here it will become 90 and 90 divided by 15 will be 6 so it is equal to 6 Feet. like this you can get the answer see my dear students hope i uh, you have understood this question and this volume of rectangular prism is very easy just one formula volume is equal to length multiply width multiply height just be careful with the values given and don't forget to write the unit okay i am sure you have understood this and if you think that such videos will help you to increase your knowledge please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you